We're back for another episode of The Space, a mindfulness podcast that's not like the others. I'm your host, Casey Donovan. Alongside our writer, Amy Malloy, we use every Friday to celebrate your week and ease your anxiety for the weekend. Let's talk about the annoyance of a pre-weekend argument. There's no crappier timing. It's Friday lunchtime and your boyfriend texts something really stupid. It's Thursday night and an argument is brewing. You know it's not going to be over by the weekend. Things have been said, tempers have been blown and feelings have been hurt. You have two options. Let it go for the sake of your weekend or stand your ground and risk all your plans being ruined. Luckily, there is an alternative. You can put a pin in a conflict and pick it up later. All it takes is a little bit of practice. Step one, make sure you're on the same page. This is where you have to be really honest with your partner. You can't pretend to forgive and then revive a row on Monday. This is all about transparency. You can try saying things like, My feelings are still hurt. I still want to continue this conversation, but I don't want to lose our weekend to this. Can we put a pin in it for now? Now is the next important step. Schedule your next recap. Yes, put a time in your calendar to continue the discussion slash argument. It will hold you both accountable and keep you looking forward. Step two, have a mini timeout. You can't expect to feel harmonious instantly. Take a walk around the block. Have a shower. Do a breathing exercise. Focus on reducing your adrenaline and getting out of a rage reaction. Step three, know you have a choice on how to react. We say things like, I was overcome with rage, but that's rarely true. We can override our rage with compassion. Ask yourself this question, are you going to break up over this incident? If the answer is quite clearly no, then give yourself permission to get over it. Or at least choose your weekend over it. Remember, you've got a date in your calendar. You've rescheduled your conflict if you still feel the need for it. Hopefully, by the time Monday comes around, you'll have forgotten all about your fury and you can just enjoy each other. I'm Casey Donovan, and you've been listening to The Space. Follow us on Instagram at thespace underscore podcast for more tips like this one. We're back tomorrow for our bonus weekend episode, a mindfulness tip to renew, revive, and feel alive. Space out.